It is very common for submissive males to contact me in hopes that I will work with their shy, femdom wives and girlfriends who are hesitant about stepping into their femdom power and authority in their female-led relationship. If you're the shy femdom in a female-led relationship or the eager submissive wanting your female partner to step into her femdom power, stay tuned because today I have seven practical steps that you can take subtypes to inspire your newbie femdom. Now, gentlemen, before we get into this, I want to stop with you and say this. This is about inducement, seduction, okay? You are not going to be able to just drop the bomb that you have a foot fetish and that night explore your wildest fantasies, all right? Everything that you do with your femdom partner is going to need to be seduced. If she is new to this, you need to seduce these concepts, okay? You need to approach this in a very seductive, alluring way, and I'm definitely going to help you do that today. And the first step, gentlemen, to start infusing and encouraging some more femdom expression in your dynamic is to simply show her respect. Okay, the question that I want you to ask yourself, gentlemen, is how can I make her feel like the queen of the home? That's the goal, is if you want her to act like your queen, treat her like your queen, all right? And start with respect, especially in four main areas. The first one being attention. Give her your full and undivided attention. This means that when she speaks to you, you pause the TV or turn it off or mute or pause your music or turn off your phone, flip it over and put it down to the side, okay? I like to put it this way. Listen with your face, okay? If I am addressing my submissive and they're on their phone, distracted, not really looking at me, you better believe I'm gonna grab those cheeks. I might give it a little smack along the way. It's disrespectful. If you want her to be the queen of your home, you want her to feel like the queen of your home, Respect her when it comes to attention, full and undivided attention. The next area of respect is privacy. Do not assume her attention or interrupt her activities. Okay, on a practical basis, this means knocking before just entering a room. If she's in the middle of a task, don't expect her to drop the task and engage with you wait until she's done with the task, etc. Okay, be mindful about her privacy and her time. That's another area of respect. Next is honorifics. Address her in the manner she prefers. Did you catch that? Honorifics are about what pleases her. Address her in the manner she prefers. Do not, if you have this fantasy about calling her sir, don't call her sir if she doesn't like it. If she would rather be called goddess, then you better fucking call her goddess, okay? What your fantasies are all about really is irrelevant when it comes to femdom. Yes, if you're a good boy, she will reward you with what you desire. But femdom is about her stepping into her authority, okay? And honorifics, addressing her respectfully. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Addressing her in the terms and the form of address that she prefers. Very, very lovely form of respect. And finally, chivalrous acts, gentlemen. Treat her with the care she deserves, okay? So we're going back to opening the door for her on the way out, on the way in, pulling out the chair for her when she takes a seat, pushing it in. When she enters a room, especially during dinner time, whatnot, stand up when she enters the room, etc. Chivalrous acts that show her that you are mindful, present, and see her as the queen of your home. Be attentive to her daily needs. This means taking the initiative to attend to the needs that you see from day to day. 
And your femdom is not a robot. She is a human being with vast and complex emotions. So what she requires from day to day will often be different. So gentlemen, subtypes, it's very important as you are trying to inspire your newbie femdom to express her authority, that you be attentive to what she needs on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in three main areas. The first area being mentally. Is she tired, distracted, disassociated, etc.? Emotional. Does she feel anxious, stressed, overwhelmed, etc.? And environmental. How does the state of the house look? The groceries, laundry, bills, children, etc. Because here's the thing, gentlemen, if you're really wanting an intense, wonderful femdom scene, a little bit of playtime, whatnot, but the house is a wreck, the children haven't been attended to, she's stressed, she's overwhelmed, and yet you're on your knees going, goddess, I just wanna worship you you're not going to get very far because you're not attending to her needs. You're not attending to the fact that she is tired, she's exhausted, she's overwhelmed. She needs to get out of that headspace before she can attend to you. Don't approach her with that selfishness and that entitlement, goddess, how may I serve you? Just because, and ladies, just because they say, goddess, how may I serve you, does not mean they actually wish to serve. That can often be a very selfish thing to say, especially if your goddess is exhausted. So don't expect this sexual scene or this playtime or whatever if the environmental factors, the mental and emotional factors, aren't being attended to, okay? Maybe you volunteer to clean up the house and take care of the meal that evening, okay? Well, she takes care of the kids, gets the kids straightened out, okay? Then she can come back to a nice clean home, nice clean kitchen, a beautiful meal, we're gonna have a meal together, maybe draw her a bath, massage her feet while she's in the bath. What are you doing? You're attending to her needs. You're being mindful and present and you're showing her that you want to serve her needs, that you're not just seeking her authority and power for what it can do to you sexually. Next, serve her. Perform the tasks that you know she dislikes. Essentially, gentlemen, the question is, how can I make her life happier? And this is a very big act of service and love to your femdom because a lot of femdoms have other responsibilities. They are high performers, high achievers, okay? So it's not just that they are sitting around twiddling their thumbs all day. Often a lot of femdoms have a lot on their plate. So by stepping in, taking the initiative to serve her in the way that she would rather not, the task that she would rather not do is supremely beneficial, beautiful, attractive, and will inspire her in a very wonderful way to start exerting her authority more. And as an example for you, I put together a list of the top five tasks that I personally loathe. If I never had to do these tasks, these chores around the house again, I would be thrilled. So the key is to notice Pay attention to what she dislikes and take that off her plate. So just in volunteering, take the initiative to do these tasks for her that she dislikes, you're going to make her happy. And happy women like to play. Next, pamper her. Perform pampering tasks that you know she needs and enjoys. The question to ask yourself here, gentlemen, is how can I bring her pleasure and rejuvenation. Think about that. How can I bring her pleasure and rejuvenation? She's a hard worker. She's a high achiever. She has a lot on her plate. Happy women want to play. Stressed women do not. So how can I please her and give her rejuvenation? A couple of things that I personally love and adore include back and foot massages, can never get enough massages, facials, I love facials as well. I also like for pampering items, robes, perfumes, flowers, candles, 
bath bombs, clothes, shoes, boots, lingerie, jewelry. All of those are great little gift ideas. Or even a new or upgraded toy for her dungeon, for playtime with you, tools for her business, etc. All of these things could be pampering things. All of these things could be ways to serve her and please her and show her how much you value her as your queen. Next, ask for feedback. Ask her to give you feedback and receive it with humility and a desire to make yourself excellent in service to your queen. And this takes a lot of humility, which is a beautiful trait, a necessary trait in submissives. Ask for feedback. Because as the submissive in a female-led relationship, you should be very mindful about what pleases her and what does not please her, what she likes, what she does not like. And you should have the desire to make yourself excellent. If she owns you, you represent her. How you dress is a reflection of her. How you present yourself to the world is a reflection of her and her ownership. So you should want to be excellent for her as an example of who you represent. So ask for feedback, receive feedback in two main areas. The first being your appearance. Ask her, is there anything in my wardrobe or grooming that displeases you? And behavior. Ask her, is there anything in my behavior or speech that displeases you? And mean it, genuinely be receptive to if she says yes, it really bothers me when you chew with your mouth open and it makes me want to smack you across the face every time you do it. Take note of that, chew with your mouth closed. Very, very easy to please her, all right? If you ask her about your appearance and she goes yes every time you wear those ill-fitting slacks, they look like melted candlesticks at the bottom and it's disgusting and you look lazy and not put together. Take note of that, get your fucking pants hemmed, okay? So the point is, be receptive to that feedback. She's not going to tell you these things to knock you down and to degrade you, she shouldn't. If you're into degradation, that should happen consensually in a scene, okay? And if it's part of your dynamic and if it's part of that, then that's great. She has a lot more freedom in how she says these things, okay? But she's not doing it to tear you down. She's doing it to improve you. She's doing it to make you better. And making you better will make the dynamic better. And that will further fuel her sense of power and authority. Compliment her consistently. Now I say compliment her consistently. I would say daily, that would be wonderful. But when you do compliment consistently or daily, the key is be genuine, be genuine. Don't be so frantic and just like, I have to give compliments, I have to give compliments, where they just fail to have meaning, you know? So make them meaningful. And I would advise you to offer compliments in three main areas that are very important to your femdom. The first area being authority. Express what you like about her dominance. Next is achievements. Dote on her accomplishments, the things that she's worked so hard for. And appearance. Share with her how attractive she is to you. Authority achievements, and appearance. Those are the three main areas that you should be complimenting her around consistently. Again, be genuine with them, but when you do, when you compliment consistently, it will build her confidence, boost her confidence. You're gonna see more dominant expression when you tell her, I really like when you did this the other night during a scene, during playtime. Watch out for that. She's gonna put that on her radar, put that on her little checklist and go, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that again. And maybe I'm gonna do this, and add this this time, you know what I mean? So her creativity is going to grow, her sense of power, authority, dominance is going to grow, all because you are boosting her up through your consistent compliments. And finally, let her choose. Now, there is a caveat to this in going, some days your femdom might be stressed, overwhelmed, tired, and she's done making decisions, okay? 
on that day, you letting her choose is you letting her choose to default to you. You letting her choose to go, you know what? I am done making decisions for the day. I would like you to choose a meal or some entertainment or something that would please me tonight. And it's a little test for you subtypes. So that's option number one. Option number two, if she's not, you know, tired, stressed, overwhelmed, and she does want to call the shots, default to that. Let her choose. Let her choose if she wants to go out to a certain restaurant, see a certain movie, whatever. The more you default to the things that she genuinely desires and enjoys, the more she's going to see that you find pleasure in relinquishing your will to her. And that's very powerful to her. When you do so, not only without complaint, but when you're happy. When you're happy to go out wherever she wants to go, do what she wants to do. And that fuels your sense of submission to her. She's going to see that. Oh, he, he enjoys this. He enjoys me taking him shopping. He enjoys not having a say in what he gets to eat when we go out to dinner. He enjoys these things. And so she's going to start seeing that. She's going to start seeing that you genuinely enjoy defaulting your will and pleasing her and serving her in that way. And that will only boost her confidence and expression. So if you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss a video. And comment below with any questions you would like me to answer in an upcoming video.